Oh, hey folks. <clears throat> anyway, uh, pardon the mess. I just finished repackaging my mobile node. Um, what was happening when I had it in the um, in the plastic case, even though I had glued this tinfoil to it, A, it was kind of congested, so I got a uh, bud aluminum box okay and I repackaged the entire node into this bud box so what do I have what I've done I'll uh, point out a few items here I moved the PSUs far to the right because they have a switching noise with these buck converters that is picked up by the radios by the radio so I've got it filtered and a longer wire and a second filter underneath this Bofang UV5R alright so right here is the audio that is going to the computer from the Bofang. And right here is the audio going to the Bofang from the computer. The green wire here is tied to pin two of the chip there for COS. And your PTT, which is a ground, is here. Okay. So, Right here on this CM108, I added a 5K potentiometer. Now, it is an inline series with the audio coming from the Bofang going across, and I, I've got a, a 1K uh, resistor it's underneath it. You can't see it. But this 5K allows me uh, a, a good swing on the volume. Then the diode, okay, this is tied over here to pin, I believe, 13 and COS on uh, for PTT. And the COS is on pin 43, I believe it is, or 48. And it's, this is a modified sound fob. And then I've got the circuit here, 2N2222 and a couple of resistors. Uh, this this resistor down here is for the input output audio and this resistor up here is to protect the transistor from overdriving now I still have to do some cleanup work here with this little packaging but I've got my input power okay the raspberry now you got to bond everything like you can't believe or you'll hear the buck converter that's on the board here on the CM108 come through the audio so I've ground bonded to a couple of points on the radio to the Pi to the grounding it to the uh, aluminum case using it as a ground point as well as across all of those locations DC comes in to the power supplies. It's switched off the front. Diode protected. And what you can hear coming through the radio here. So the way that it's connected right now is the HT is connected, is on this frequency for the remote base, or for the radio. Then it is connected to another setup like this at my house, which is remote basing into a repeater that is the local repeater. He's noisy. But that's his signal, it's noisy. If you hear the other guys 
So he's noisy into the repeater up in uh, Peavine, Nevada. So, but that's what it's coming through this system right now. I have it on 433.9 locked, narrow band. So all all the radios are, that I'm using are set to narrow band. This is a Bofang UV5RX3. Uh, which is a tri-bander. It's got 220, 2 meters, 220 in the UHF in this, in this bow fan. And uh, that's pretty much it. So, it's uh, doing pretty darn good. And if, you, if, if he lets go, you can actually hear the audio. Um is really clean. When he lets go of his microphone, you can hear the repeater's audio coming back, and it's really quiet. So, anyway, uh, my mess from repackaging. So, it's all done. So I'm going to throw the top back on it, and I'll, uh, I'll post this up. But all the filtration, all the buck converter noise is now gone. All the whining is gone. If you've had my video uh, listen to my videos before so this aluminum case has really worked out I'm really happy with it so it's a and you can see with my hand this is a pretty small case it's three inches tall eight inches this way and six inches this way so yeah so there we go